J-Dot Breezy came up playing football, but after jumping off the porch, he left the field and started running through the trenches. Now, he's one of the hottest rappers in Jacksonville. And today, we're breaking down how he took over the scene and got wrapped up in one of the deadliest wars in the rap game. J-Dot came up in Jacksonville being raised by his mom because his dad was in and out of jail all the time. J-Dot wasn't gangbanging back in the day, but his family was always struggling to even put food on the table, and he ended up getting active at an early age. Before we got involved with the beef between Young and Ace and Fulio, J-Dot had already known a lot of dudes from both sides for a long time. In an interview with No Jumper, J-Dot said he met spinning bands when he was just a kid because his mom's friend lived in the same area. A lot of the dudes he knew were already repping sets, but J-Dot just made his own lane in the streets and wasn't affiliated with any gangs. He started stealing cars when he was in school, and J-Dot said that's what everyone was doing back then. Jack and whips like a trend in the city, and there were a bunch of teenagers showing up to parties driving stolen cars. He got away with it for a while, but eventually J-Dot caught a charge over a stolen whip and got locked up. He had been rapping since he was like 11 years old, but when he had to sit down on the inside, J-Dot started taking it more seriously. He was rapping for anyone who would listen to him, and when he talked to the homies on the outside, J-Dot told him he was going to become a rapper when he came home. At the same time, J-Dot had real potential to make it far with football. Right before he got locked up for the carjacking, his team won a state championship, which is a really big deal in Florida. J-Dot still had one foot in the streets though, and he ended up catching a gun charge right after that and got locked up again. Before he went inside, Jacksonville was violent, but not anything like it is today. There was definitely gangs getting into street drama, but back then, dudes would still settle it with fights instead of just shooting at every op they spotted. J-Dot was cool with dudes from both sides before he went in for the gun charge, but while he was locked up, everything changed. There's a lot of different rumors about how it all started, but this is how the war in Jacksonville allegedly popped off. In 2017, Fulio's cousin Zion Brown was shot and killed by a dude named DeAndre Thomas. Thomas was tied with Young and Ace, and they even caught a case together in 2018 for allegedly robbing the plug and letting shots off at him. Ace skated on the case, but that same year, he was involved in the shooting that really set the war off. Ace went to dinner with his brother and two homies to celebrate one of their birthdays. Usually, they wouldn't be moving around in public like that, but that night, they wanted to just chill and have a good meal at a steakhouse. Everything was cool at first, but when they were leaving the restaurant, a shooter rolled up and started dumping shots. Ace's brother and two friends were all killed, and Ace barely survived after he caught eight bullets. That night changed Jacksonville forever, and bodies have been dropping on both sides ever since. In 2019, another Jacksonville rapper named Boss Goon was shot and killed right after he was released from prison. Boss Goon wasn't just another street dude though. He was the older brother of Ace's homie K-So. K-So is allegedly one of the most savage shooters in the city, and he allegedly got revenge less than a month later by killing Fulio's little homie Bibby. Bibby and his homie were chilling outside of his crib when a shooter walked up and started shooting at them. Bibby tried to run away but fell to the ground, and that's when the shooter stood over him and ended him with a bullet to the back of the head. K-So was in charge immediately, but he started sending shots at Bibby on tracks like K-So Bitch, where he rapped, and you know we smoke little Bibby bitch. K-So bitch, Glocks and Rugers, we be hitting shit, we slipping shit, don't run, we chase you down, we blitzing shit, we blitzing shit, don't be bibbied out, we hitting shit, and shots a little bitch, bibbied out. Then in January 2020, K-So allegedly took out another op in broad daylight when he killed a rapper named Lil Buck at a shopping center in Jacksonville. J-Dot had been cool with K-So for years, but he was also tight with dudes on the other side too. It wasn't an issue back in the day, but after the war popped off, he was forced to pick a side. After he came home from the gun charge, J-Dot was ready to focus completely on football and rap. He dropped his first track on YouTube and racked up over 400k views while he was still on an ankle monitor, and he told his football coaches he was done with all the street drama. When you in a city like Jacksonville, it's not that easy though, and both sides are putting pressure on him. According to J-Dot, Fulio's people were sneak dissing him. And then the situation got serious and changed J-Dot's life forever. All he wanted to do was make music and play football, but the ops wasn't gonna let that happen. Dudes started showing up at his school and sending threats, and that's how J-Dot got wrapped up in all the drama. One day, someone allegedly showed up with a gun acting like they was gonna catch J-Dot when he left school, and the school security officer heard about it and called the real cops. J-Dot was watching football film with the team, but then he got called to the office and the principal let him know that people were making threats on his life. The principal said that J-Dot being at school would put other kids in danger too and told him to stay home until the situation cooled off. J-Dot did what he was supposed to and just chilled around for a month. Then he got the call that he could go back to school. 
But on his first day back, the dean told him he wasn't supposed to be there and took him back to the principal's office. Even though they're the ones who told J-Dot to stay home, the principal said that J-Dot had missed too many days. And that's when he left school behind and went all in with the rap game. Even if he wanted to go legit and get a normal job, J-Dot said it wasn't possible because there was too much drama going on in the streets. He started rocking with Young and Ace's side of the beef, and not before long, J-Dot was losing homies in the trenches. Back in 2019, J-Dot's cousin Rollo was with Young and Ace and some other homies at a Hampton Inn when the ops ambushed them and started letting off shots. They chased him through a parking lot at the hotel, and Rollo unfortunately got hit in the body and was pronounced dead later that night. Rumors say that a dude named Tiki was involved with the hit. Tiki ended up getting killed not long after Rollo, and on the track No Name Dropping, J-Dot allegedly dissed him and rapped. He say he smoked Rollo pack, now that nigga winged up. Dig him up, that nigga dead. 762 to hit his friends. Young and Ace also dissed Tiki on his viral diss track against Fulio, who I smoke, when he raps, who I smoke, Tiki, in the hook. What's even crazier about the situation is that J-Dot got drunk on IG Live and started dissing Tiki. And during the live, he even said, I was on that hit, nigga. That fans in glass, nigga. I'm drunk and fuck, nigga. Nigga, know I smoke. I'm a bitch ass, dead ass niggas. And I was on that hit, nigga. Jada started seriously dropping music in 2019, and it didn't take long for him to get some buzz on his name. He was racking up hundreds of thousands of views. But at the same time, the war in Jacksonville was getting crazier every day. And in 2020, he suffered another major loss. Lil Leaky was another dude from the east side of Jacksonville who was affiliated with a set called 1200. Leaky and Jada had been homies since they was kids. Most of them ended up getting kicked out of school, so back in the day, they just go to each other's houses and chill. But according to rumors, Leaky was one of the most active dudes in the city, and he even allegedly tried to take out Fulio's girlfriend, Bubin Baby. Back in 2020, Bubin was driving Fulio's car to the gas station with a friend when a shooter rolled up and started letting off shots. Whoever pulled the trigger probably wanted to kill Fulio, but Bubin ended up getting hit three times and one of the shots actually took her finger off. Rumors say Leaky was behind the shooting, and his homie spinning bands wrapped about the situation on the track, I Don't Smoke Kendra, and said, This nigga mama got shot, and he's still tweaking. This nigga bitch got shot. Cool, I know she leaving. They shot that whole finger off, she couldn't even tweet it. Then, just a month after he allegedly shot Bubin, Leaky allegedly took out a dude from Fulio's hood, six block, named Petey. On May 3rd, 2020, Petey was chilling on the block with some homies when a dude hopped out of his whip and sent shots into the crowd. Everyone got hit, but Petey was the only one who didn't pull through and ended up dying from his wounds. According to rumors, Leaky wasn't even active in the streets until after he saw his homie get killed right in front of him. Back in 2019, Leaky and a dude named John were hanging out on the 1200 block of Clark Street when a shooter in a white van rolled up on him and started letting off shots. Leaky got hit several times and was rushed to the hospital, but John got hit in the head and was tragically pronounced dead at the scene. The ops started clowning Leaky for losing his friend, and a rapper named Jump Out Squeeze dropped a track called Op Shit and Raps. I'ma start this off by saying, boy, I'm smoking John. All this fucking flagging, man, you need to knock it off. He also took shots at J-Dot with the line, Will told us when he got popped. J-Dot told and switched his block. We the real NHG. We will take your fucking top. According to rumors, J-Dot made a statement to the cops back in the day while he was still in high school playing football. Fulio posted the paperwork on Twitter, and a lot of people started hating on J-Dot over the situation. But on the track EST 2019, he had the situation now. J-Dot always said he wasn't really active in the streets back then, and on the track he raps, Tell the truth about me, bitch. I stand on business, never fake it. Ask around, I bang this bitch and crash out, no hesitation. Want me to respond to bullshit? You flocking, bitch, and your ass hating. I said something in self defense. I was a minor, ball playing. A follower is what I was. My image wasn't no fucking gangster. I hit the streets 2019 and I got proof. Go check the data. It's not clear how active J Dot really was in the streets, but his homies was definitely sliding on the ops. 10 days after Jump Out squeezed his J-Dot and Leaky's homie John, he was standing outside an Amazon warehouse to apply for a job. It was around 2 p.m. at a crowded area, but that didn't stop two shooters from pulling up and taking them out in broad daylight. According to rumors, Leaky was one of the dudes who pulled the trigger on Jump Out. He was allegedly putting crazy pressure on the other side, but it all caught up to him a few months later. In September 2020, Leaky, Spinner Benz, and a couple other homies were sitting in a whip at the intersection of Atlantic Boulevard and Monument Road when another car rolled through and started letting off shots. Leaky got hit up again and was rushed to the hospital, but this time he didn't pull through and was pronounced dead three days later. 
Leaky was one of Fulio's most hated ops, and he started taking shots at him on tracks like All Gas when he raps, shot my car up twice and hit my bitch. Now Leaky rest in peace. And on the track Leaky, he said, 100k, he'll shake the room. Sweep his block, we don't need no broom. They ask me how high I am, I'm Leaky high, I'm to the moon. Leaky was allegedly terrorizing the ops in Jacksonville, and after he died, spinning bands dropped the track alone and raps. The feel shit real, the shit out here ain't for everybody. And I kill, kill, kill. I swear these niggas ain't caught nobody. And I know it's leaky this and leaky that. But if leaky was here, he'll blow him down and they don't mention that. Fulio hated him so much that he even got custom weed packs made with Leaky's face on them. And when he linked up with Lil Uzi Vert's artist, Lalo Cash Desto, she joins in on the dissing and said, I'm a Fulio. He got me smoking on Leaky. Desto wasn't involved with the beef at all and wasn't even from Jacksonville. But she ended up getting shot and killed in Houston and Jada hopped on IG to diss her. Most people had no idea what the situation was about. So when J Dot clowned her death on social media, he ended up getting a lot of hate over it. In his interview with No Jumper, J Dot said that everyone was cool with Desto mentioning his dead homie, so he didn't understand why fans weren't keeping that same energy. I don't know why everybody mad. Like, it's, I mean, there's no point in being mad. Y'all ain't give a fuck when she hopped on the song saying she was smoking my partner. Y'all supported that shit. So now the same person, the same deceased person that she's smoking, his friend spoke up and she done died. Now we done spoke on her. Y'all mad? Nah. Right. Come on now. Y'all know how the streets go. Stop playing. But then he admitted that he could have handled it differently and been the bigger person. I mean, I could have been a bigger person than I said nothing though. After body started dropping left and right in Jacksonville, J Dot ends up leaving the state for a while and his homies didn't even want him to come back. They knew he had an even bigger target on his back since he was popping off in the rap game. And if he was in Jacksonville all the time, he could have easily been next. J Dot listened to them and stayed away for a while. And that's when he really started going hard in the booth. He was sitting in the studio every day and working on the style. And J Dot finished a whole album called The Creation while he was away from the city. When J Dot started blowing up outside of Jacksonville, he realized how far he could take it in the rap game if he avoided all the street drama. He said he's gonna keep it pushing till he's able to take care of everyone in his life. And he's also trying to inspire other kids to get out of the trenches. After his name started buzzing, a lot of dudes started calling J Dot for playing football back in the day. They think that winning a state championship means it's not really about that life. But Jada says they're just hating because he actually accomplished something. Jada also talks about how he's an influence on kids coming up and doesn't want him to think it's lame to be involved with sports and to stay out of the streets. Jada even moved out of Jacksonville completely, but he said it wasn't even because of the war going on right now. According to him, it's the cops who are always trying to jam people up and he don't want to let them slow his career down. J Dot might be trying to avoid the drama in Jacksonville, but that hasn't stopped him from beefing with Fulio the whole time. Fulio this is leaky all the time, and J Dot clapped back on tracks like Reincarnated when he raps. Nigga dissed me and got shot in this shit. He say he's smoking Rollo, man, Fulio a bitch. I pull up on the six, cause my Glock got a dip, but I'll jump out with the Drake and run him down and take a piss. How you rap out gangsta shit, but you ain't never did a hit. He also took shots at Bibby on the same track and said, Bibby in my blunt, I might try to mix dank. Need you turn into some runs. Hop out on a nigga block and I made his ass run. How you smoking on my dog and your body count ain't one. Rollo died with the FN, well, Bibby died with his gun. Julio has already survived a few shootouts over the war in Jacksonville. Back in 2020, he was out in Houston when the ops caught him in traffic and dumped a clip into his car. He made it out after getting grazed in the neck, but J Dot's homie, Fast Money Goon, basically confirmed they were behind it on the track Who I Smoke when he raps. I told the rocket when I travel, I'm pistol packing in Houston. I was lurking on his page and caught him lacking in Houston. We let off shots, he got shot and went live. I was tweaking like, fuck man, that bitch ain't died. Then one day, he was leaving the studio in Jacksonville when two shooters ambushed him and started letting off shots. They dumped over 100 rounds at him while Fulio was busting back. And somehow, he made it out of the situation and only got grazed in the leg. Fulio has ops all over the city, and in October 2023, he got caught again. His mom posted on his IG and asked fans to pray for him, and at first it seemed like Fulio might not survive. It turns out, he just took a nasty shot to the foot and will make a full recovery. It don't seem like J-Dot had anything to do with the shooting, but that didn't stop him from hopping online and clown Fulio. He did some on IG Live for getting hit up again, then told Fulio to go pick his dead homies up. Fulio and J-Dot have both lost so many homies to the war that they'll probably never stop beefing. J-Dot said that losing people to violence all the time is traumatizing, 
He told No Jumper that it used to mess him up really badly, but then he just got numb to it all. Luckily, it seems like Jada is really focused on staying out of the street beef and taking it far in the music industry. He already moved out of Jacksonville and stays where there isn't such a massive target on his back, so hopefully he keeps it pushing and focused on his career.